All right, guys. Uh, this is some of the supplies that we'll need to make our steps. Uh, I'm only making two today. Um, decided to cut mine 24 inches. Uh, for my height, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, what's so great about this is you can make them however you want. Some guys want 20 inch, some want 18, you know, some want whatever. So the good thing about this, you can make it however you want, whatever length. I'm gonna go 24 inches on mine. I'm only making two. Uh, I've already made one a couple months ago and I've been testing it out just to see how it holds up. Uh, some supplies, first with buttons, uh, you got your steps, got your V brackets. Couple things you're gonna need, some wrenches, uh, tape measure, which I've already cut my steps, uh, and a permanent magic marker. Um, I'm using a little drill press. Uh, if you got a handheld drill, that'll work too. What you gonna do? Pretty simple. You want your steps on top. And these steps are made for a one spray. Everybody can kind of see how it fits right there. Once you tighten it up, it'll tighten down. That's what keeps your step from sliding side, side to side. All right, the V bracket. One good thing about this, when you buy this, all you got screws that fit everything, and it all fits one inch tubing, which is great. This one inch tubing is a 661 um, T6, I think is the grade. And I've had one that I made a couple months ago. I've been using it for my saddle just to practice in the backyard. I uh, haven't had any issues with it bending or anything. One thing you gotta be careful about when you tighten your bolts up and you run it through. If you tighten it too hard, you will get a slight bend on the back side. So be careful about that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pretty much just get it flush there. I'm gonna put me a dot with a permanent magic marker. Do the same thing on the bottom, but mark my spots where I want to drill. Last time I made the other one, I did have to, have to work on those hoes a little bit, do a little tight fit. Get the right size drill bit, that would help tremendously. Get your hose marked, I'm gonna drill. Always make sure you got some type of gloves and some safety glasses. I want to make sure your hose are level. What I always do is you use enough piece of tubing underneath it. Check my bolts, make sure they're gonna go up there fine. Make sure I don't need to make the hole any big or anything like that. Look great. Very little play. Great. Hardest thing is to get them lined up. Yeah, 
is a tight fit. I usually have to use a hammer a little bit. Be careful when you go through, you can get it through without messing up your threads. And guys, almost anybody can do this. There you go. That's your stick. And you got your Versa button. I know different people like to put these different. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold off before I put mine on. Uh, I have one that I, I made last time. I actually made my own Versa button. So, I'm gonna kind of offset them a little bit. So they stack different. Kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, play around with that for a little bit. That's pretty much it. Uh, you get the button on and uh, hook it up to a scale, let y'all know how much it weighs. Just want to show you the sticks out here. Uh, I'm sure people are going to have questions how it bites. Man, it's just like a long wolf. I mean, that's what the brackets are. You just jam it down, I mean, we're good. I mean nothing, no side to side movement, no bending, no anything. I'm jumping up and down. Nowhere, I don't want to go anywhere at all. Don't want to come away from the tree. It is, once you get your weight on that stick, it is solid. Like I said, I've been using these for a while. No bending, anything. Um, you know, I'm just doing this to show people some information, maybe I save a few dollars. I don't have 120 bucks spent per stick. Um, so I started playing around with it and seeing what I could do. And so far, it looks like they're doing great. Thank y'all. All right, guys, here are sticks. I told y'all how to make. I'll have all the information uh, in the video and the link where you can get it from. Uh, Still work. Three sticks, 24 inches. If you can see that, four pounds, 10 ounces. Right now, I don't know if there's anything else on the market that is that large. Let's weigh it again. So we get four pounds, nine ounces, 10 ounces, 11 ounces. Right at 14, 411, 412. Can't beat it. Just wanted to share this information with y'all. You know, there were several guys that, after I made the first one, I showed that they were interested. Um, try it out. Um, no people's worried about being safe, but I've been sitting from hanging from one in the backyard for the last couple months. Zero wear, zero bend, anything. Uh, only thing I did do to the new ones. Um, on your end caps right here, you can go Lowe's or Home Depot and buy you a couple plastic ones. Uh, slide it in there. Uh, a couple bucks. Uh, that's up to you. Alright. Thank y'all for watching. Got any comments? 